Okay, here we are with the Sirius FPV uh, status plane and basically there is no user manual about this airplane and how to assemble it so I will try to do this video and uh, everybody can see my method once again this is only my method to prepare this airplane you can take it as a reference and we will prepare this airplane so basically in the beginning uh, what I do I always start with the wings because these are the easiest to set up and then I take it from there and set up the fuselage and stuff like that. Before we begin, I would show you that we will have to uh, install a, a connector, a proper connector on the ESC. Okay, as you can see, the ESC do not have a connector here. All right, so they have motor connectors, but I have to install the uh, connector for the battery. So once again, you should have a little bit of soldering skills when you uh, start doing FPV. You will learn. I used to be a really terrible solder job performer something like that and I learned when I started doing FEV I learned and now my soldering is okay so basically you can actually learn to do that alright so uh, basically this airplane is the fuselage is two sections okay you can see it has easily comes off to prepare it we will need to glue all these areas and wait for glue to become a little uh, dry and then we'll put this to fuselage together making sure we install the proper wooden stuff inside okay um, elevator later is a piece of cake it will just install backside just here and we will install the servos for rudder and elevator at both sides okay um, let's start with the uh, wings as I said we will do it step by step if you look at the wings uh, they have a place for the carbon fiber rod which is provided all right goes all the way inside now there are two things that you can do either you can make it permanent okay or you can just make one wing permanent or you can just leave both wings detachable so I would say leave both wings detachable this piece of foam I would actually glue it here make it permanent and I will cut this part out because this part is actually to fit the servo cable inside uh, so once this is glued, there is no way you can get the servo cable out. So what I'm going to do is very simple. I'm going to actually, this little notch, I'm just going to cut it off. So next, when I put it here, we will have an opening here for the servo cables that we can run inside easily. And if we need to remove the servo or replace the servo later, we can easily just take the servo off and put a new servo in and put the cable in. We don't have to take this whole section off. But in other case, if you want to keep it just like this, detachable, I would say use a very, very nice and strong tape and just tape the whole section. I wouldn't recommend doing it because sometimes the G-forces can pull your carbon fiber rod out. So we will glue this one permanently, cut this piece out so we can install these servo cables inside. Let's say first thing we are going to do is install the servo here okay just like this it should be a piece of cake and the servo cable will simply fit inside here it will fit right here just like this and of course you will need to use the provided servo extension cables in this box and this bag and extend your servo before you put this thing on Alright, so let us prepare the wings first and later we will move on to prepare this fuselage, which is pretty simple. Step by step, you will see everything. Okay, now the wings are done. Alright. I have actually cut this area so I can see my servo cable and in case I have to replace the servo, servo or any cable, I can easily do it. And these pieces are permanent here. So the carbon fiber rod can easily go in and I can easily attach the wings. Now coming to fuselage. Hmm. Before we actually do the fuselage, we need to put a carbon fiber rod here. I'm planning to hot glue it. Okay. And of course, the motor has to fit here. So uh, you shouldn't fit only the motor mount here, the wooden one, and then later try to fit the motor. It's going to be a little difficult for you to do that. Uh, I would suggest just do the things right now. So here it is, my motor. I have already fitted on this mount. I had to do some cutting. Okay. All right. 
you can see. And I had to do some cutting here on top as well, because once again, I want to stay, uh, you know, clear. I want to stay flexible, I should say, so that I can actually do the modifications. If I need to change the ESC, I just need to take the cables out from here. I mean, detach the connectors. All right. Um, in case uh, after everything has uh, joined, after you have joined the things, I mean, two part of this fuselage, and you need to make changes later, we need to cut this whole piece away in order to make changes to motor. But for now, we can just fit the motor as it is. So uh, I have done it. For example, the motor is set in its uh, motor mount. I will just fit the motor here. Okay fit my carbon fiber rod here, run other cables that I want to run from inside. For example, for the rudder uh, servo and uh, elevator servo, if I need to run the cables inside, I will run these cables inside, glue this whole section and put the other section on top of it. Then put some tapes and wait for it to dry. However, I would again suggest do not run your cables inside because once it's permanent, it's difficult if some cables break. Um, um, I will just simply run my cables outside. I don't care how beautiful or how ugly my FPV plane looks. Basically, uglier the plane, the better it will fly and better you will have chances to repair it. Alright, so I will go ahead and join these two pieces of fuselage and then we will install the other stuff.